Welcome to Japan, home of the Hedgehog Cafe. If you've got a hankering for some mighty fine hogs, you've come to the right place. So I was sprinting around the main streets of Roppongi, Tokyo. I heard they got them a nice new hedgehog cafe, so I decided to give it a go. Now apparently this place used to be just a bunny cafe, but it seems as though they diversified their portfolio of buck wild animals. After all, when you're working in the animal cafe business, you gotta spread your risk around somehow. I might even go as far as to say as you need to hedge your bets. And there ain't no better way to do that than to dedicate the whole floor of your animal cafe to some mighty fine hedgehogs. I'm sorry, did I just say hedgehogs? Because I think I meant to say hedgehogs. These terrariums are jam-packed with some pretty nice hedgehogs if I do say so myself. Case in point, take a look at this nice hog. It's lapping up a whole bunch of water, staying all nice and hydrated like. That thing's going to town on that water. It's lapping up that high quality H2O like a mad mammal on a mission. I had the feeling this haug had potential, so I told the hedgehog wrangler and he took that bad boy and jammed it into a nice hedgehog box. Then he brought that box over to my seat and next thing I knew that haug was inspecting my hand. So how's it going there, buddy? I don't want to make any sudden moves. I want you to feel all nice and comfortable with me around. I mean, hey, Haug, let's keep it 100 over here. I know you're getting whored out to tourists day by day, hour by fucking hour. You're getting manhandled by every man, woman, and child that walks through that door, but I want to be one of the good tourists. So I tried picking up that hedgehog all nice and gentle-like, but he seemed none too thrilled with the prospect. He started squirming around in my hand in a crazed frenzy, the poor thing. Next I knew he was trying to make a jump for it. That's fair enough, I wasn't here to force any hedgehogs to do anything they don't want to do, so I grabbed that mofo, tossed it back in its terrarium, then I went on the hunt for some fresh fucking hedgehogs. And man oh man, just look at those nice hogs sleeping together. Call me crazy, but I think they're looking as snug as a bug in a buck wild rug. It seems to me like those hogs are partaking in some serious snuggle time right there. What else we got here? We got one of these bad boys chewing away on some haug chow at a feverish pace. And wow, just wow, look at that haug savagely bite into that chow. That's the kind of hedgehog that I want to rub elbows with, so I told that haug wrangler and he put that puppy into a box. Now truth be told, I was getting pretty excited to interact with that haug. I was getting real excited. And wow, look at that haug. Let's take a closer look at this kawaii ball of spines. I just gotta gently get him into the palm of my hand. There ain't nothing to it but to do it, baby. And what the hell's going on with this haug? He doesn't even want to look at me. Have I said something wrong? Perhaps I said something disparaging about hedgehogs and I didn't even know it. This hedgehog won't even give me the time of day. He seems triggered to the max. Either that or he's a world-class racist. So listen, buddy, I didn't mean any harm. I was just trying to make a connection with you. A spiritual connection, to be exact. I mean, hey, if I did anything to trigger you, I sincerely apologize. And wow, take a look, he's getting up. I think he actually wants to meet me. I mean, whatever I've done to offend him, he's found it in his heart to forgive me. And I think he's a pretty nice hedgehog. And what the fuck is this? What in the wide, wide world of sports is going on around here? This thing's actually trying to get away from me. Yep, I just came to the realization that that hedgehog is definitely a racist. So I chucked that bad boy back into his terrarium and started scoping out some more haugs. Some fresh haugs to be exact and holy shit, look at this haug. I'm gonna go out on a limb right here and say that's a nice fucking haug. It's chillax into the max in a partial ball and it's looking kawaii beyond belief. Anyway, next up I pointed out the next haug that I wanted to the haug wrangler so she brought that bad boy over and whoa. Look at that thing. I mean, I am by no means a hedgehog connoisseur, but even for me, it's plain to see that right there is a nice fucking hedgehog. 
It's trying to get out of that box. I think it wants to meet me. That's definitely a choice quality hedgehog right there. There's no denying that. So I figured since that hedgehog was so enthusiastic about getting closer to me, I'd get him on my palm and take a look. I mean, wow, do you actually see this hog? He seems to be in an utter state of joy and I get the distinct feeling that he likes me for me. Instead of trying to make a jump for it, he's actually trying to crawl onto my hand. That's a nice fucking hog. So because this hedgehog accepted me for who I am and because it didn't discriminate against me based on my skin color, I decided to reward it. I spoke to the wrangler and ordered up a dealish dish, a little thing I like to call mealy worms. So the exact nanosecond that I brought those mealy worms out, that hedgehog started going berserk. Alright, settle down, buddy. I got you a nice mealy worm on the way. Just gotta grab that mofo with some tweezers and here we go, here comes the mealy worm and holy shit, it just inhaled that thing. Wow, settle down there, buddy. This hedgehog was getting a tad feisty, so let me grab another mealy worm. So here it comes, and it seems like that hedgehog smells the mealy worm, but it doesn't see it. It's trying to locate the mealy worm, and whoa, it found the fucking mealy worm. Holy shit, this hedgehog is going ballistic, so let me grab the next mealy worm. Now I gotta be honest, I'm getting a tad frightened over here. I mean, this wild, untamed hog is chowing down with a crazed ferocity, the likes of which I've rarely seen. So it's trying to find that mealy worm, and oh my hog, it actually found the mealy worm. So what do you think, sweetie buns? Because in my humble opinion, that right there is a nice fucking hog. Key takeaway is this right here is a life-changing, earth-shattering, and paradigm-shifting feeding frenzy for the history books. Never before in the annals of how human relations has such an incredible feeding frenzy gone down. Long story short, nice fucking feeding frenzy right there. Anyway, after that feeding frenzy finished up, I felt all hogged out, so I decided to hightail it the hell out of that cafe. Oh, and by the way, if you like buck wild animal cafes in Japan, then feel fucking free to check out some of my other videos. I've got all kinds of animal cafe videos. We're talking cat, dog, rabbit, owl, parrot, and even squirrel garden videos. It's just that fucking good. I got that playlist link in the description box. And as always, thanks for watching this video. Why don't you leave a comment? Let me know what you think.